welcome back to Vlogmas and my little Christmas corner of the internet. I hope you're all doing well today and that you've had a good week. Um, I'm all ready for the weekend, looking forward to it. I know it's only Thursday, but uh, yeah. Um, today we are doing our Christmas tree that's behind us and we're going to start spinning the uh, fibre that's in the baubles. For any of you that are new here, uh, my challenge to myself this Advent, this Christmas, is to spin one of these baubles every day and uh, to make a yarn by the end of it and see what we come up with. I've filled 24 baubles. <clears throat> I only had 23, but because the first one's been opened today, I've refilled that with the last one. So we've now got 23 baubles on the tree, full of all sorts of fluffy goodness and uh, ready to be spun. We've also got our little Christmas box and it's got lots of little envelopes in it. So if you want to have a look at that, the challenge in more detail, it's in my previous vlog. At the beginning of the uh, vlog, there is a picture of what we're going to be spinning at the beginning of each vlog. So at the beginning of this one, you saw me opening the first package. So it gives you an idea of what we're up to. Anyway, I hope you're all okay. I hope you've all had a nice week, as I say. I've had a very exciting full week. I haven't done anything special, but I've been doing the tree and I've been getting myself organised for doing Vlogmas. So I felt really Christmassy wrapping all those little parcels up. It made me feel like I was wrapping loads of Christmas presents. But I get to open them, so that's the joy of that one. Anyway, today I'm not drinking coffee. I've decided to have a morning off coffee. Because yesterday I've got one of these little French things that sit on the stove top and I put too much coffee in it and I blew my head off. So I'm going to have a bit of a breather today. So today I'm drinking a herbal tea. But for some reason all the bits have come out of the cafetiere and gone in my cup. I've got rose petal, I've got a bit of green tea, um, I've got some peppermint and some raspberry leaf and then that's got added hot water and a little bit of honey, raw honey, so that's nice. Anyway, shall we get on with what we're doing today? So I've got my fibre, this is the green that I'm going to add into the yarn that I'm doing. So there's 50 grams of this um, and I'm going to try and spin it thin to see what we can get. But uh, I'm not hopeful I'm going to have enough. So what I'm thinking off the top of my head now is to break bits off every time I spin that. Maybe break it up into 24 and uh, spin it in with what we're going to spin each day. I think that might work better. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. This is Merino. So yeah, I'm going to break this up into 24 parts 25 parts start at the beginning and the end and then spin it through the middle and we'll add that into what we're doing with all the colored stuff and then that will make it look really Christmassy so that's what I'm doing with that so that's that so should we have a look at what we've got for today I have got a book to show you and I have got a yarn to show you that I found that I spun a few years ago to get you just in the Christmas mood but I'm not going to show you it just yet you just have to wait so this is what we've got out of our box today. There we go. That's our first spin for today. As you saw in the clip at the front, I've shown you the un unpackaging it and shown you what it is. So this is the pink and the blue and the black. Isn't that lovely? So what I like to do is at the beginning of the yarn, I like to use something smooth and the same at the end. So when you're knitting with it, you've got a first row of um, just normal uh, or you could use waste yarn and um, then you could join this yarn once you've started with your waste yarn so that's why I like to do that because you don't want all sorts of bumps and lumps and curls and locks and things right at the beginning where you're casting on say 10 stitches or whatever you don't want that because that'll just be in the way so I like to do this as a smooth sort of spin for the first few um, meter first meter or so so that's why I thought this would is going to be useful as I can spin a bit of this first and then start spinning intermittently with them too so that's what we're going to do with that and then we've got some locks I think these are Cotswold they look like Cotswold locks we've got a little bit of thread off another project I've cut up my art yarns, which were out of my weaving kits. 
So we're going to add, cut up some of that and have that in. Don't know whether you can see that very well. There we go. How's that? And then we've got some silver thread. We've got some beads. We've got these little Christmassy baubly looking beads. Can you see that? There you go. And we've got some bells. We've got a red jingle bell. It does jingle. And we've got some gold as well. I think we've got three bells and three beads for this one. So there we go. So that's going to be our first yarn. So when I'm spinning it, I'm going to take myself up, up to the shed and put the fire on. Take the wheel with me and I'll film it. Or I might sit here actually by the fire. It depends whether my husband's in. Because um, we share the room together, you see, and it's a bit sort of off-putting for me when I'm filming and he's in the same room. So... Yeah, so he's going to be home early today. But I'll see how I get on. If he's not about, I'll do it this morning. So that's the box, the nice goodies that we've got today for spinning. There you go. That's our first day of our advent calendar. Much healthier than chocolate. Because I'm on a diet and I didn't want to have chocolate. So that's my healthy advent calendar. The other thing I've done for you is I've pre-filmed some footage of me sorting out my spinning wheel. So cleaning that up ready for use so i'll pop that in at the end for you as well my battery is going to die again can't believe it i tried recording it on my laptop and uh yeah so what i did find as well was this bit of orange on the floor so i thought i'd add that in because that's really nice isn't it so yeah so we're going to add that in as well i found this little pack so i'm going to add it in another day because there's five grams in there so I might add a bit of that each day to something. So we're going to end up with more than 250 grams. Anyway, I found this. I've been looking for this everywhere. This is a yarn I spun a few years ago. Isn't it fun? It's got lovely funky balls. And then, like, baubles. And uh, Christmas tinsel spun into it. So I might do that with the other yarn. I don't know yet. Can you see how beautiful that is? All those lovely colours, aren't they gorgeous? So what I'm thinking with this, is I'm thinking of doing a wreath with it for the door. I'm putting some bells with it and um, some ribbons and making a Christmassy. Do you remember um, in my Vlogmas, I was weaving, excuse me, I'm having a, I've been having a bit of a hot moment with the fire. Um, do you remember in my Vlogmas episodes, I was weaving, weaving, um, oh, come on, Hazel, get your words out. I was weaving wreaths with branches out the garden. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, I thought tomorrow we'd make a wreath and we could put some of this funky yarn in it, some bells in it, and what else was it? Some ribbon. That's it, some Christmas ribbon. So, sorry, I've got COVID brain still. You're just going to have to forgive me. So we're going to put this on the wreath and uh, we're going to put that out. So... I love this purpley colour. Just look at that colour there. Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? So, and this orange next to that purple. It's beautiful, isn't it? But I couldn't make a jumper with it. I suppose I could make a scarf, but it's going to be a bit itchy with that tinsel. So it's more of a sort of crafty, let's weave something yarn. So yeah, I think I'm going to put that... I'm only going to use about half a meter. So I'm not going to use much because I'm not big wreaths. So I thought that I could, I could just make a wreath out of that, couldn't I? Just put that on the door. <laughs> so yeah, I have got one of those polystyrene wreaths. So we'll go in the workshop tomorrow and we'll go and have a look at what we're doing and see what we can do with this. So that's that. The other thing we're doing as part of our Vlogmas is um, a book review every day. I'm going through my book collection, my craft books for you. And uh, I'm pulling out a book every day up until Christmas Eve. And then you can have a look and see if there's anything you want. I'm going to do pattern books as well as um, crafty books, sewing books, crochet books, embroidery books. I've got so many different books. Um, even I'll do secondhand books as well. And then if you want, you can have a look on eBay and see if you can pick them up. Because I've got some really nice secondhand books as well. But uh, the one I've pulled out today is a natural dye book. It's called The Wild Dyer. And this is... And it's a fabulous little book. It's called A Guide to Natural Dyes and the Art of Patchwork and Stitching. 
Now, I haven't really had a look through this properly. It's basically a brand new book. But uh, she shows you how to dye fabric. Rather than dyeing wool, she shows you how to dye fabric um, for making things. And she shows you, there you go, there's how to use avocados. And how to dye the fabric. Um, there's how to use things out of the kitchen in this one. Um, so I thought that I would have a look. She sure goes through some sewing techniques as well. How to brew a vat of dyed. Um, it's a really detailed book. How to mordant your fabric. Um, and then further along as well. There are some bits on how to harvest natural dyes from the wild. So I'm going to have a good look through this and see if I can get some tips for doing my dye course that I'm doing for February. Um, but there's also projects that you can make. There's an apron you can make. Um, there's a bag you can make. So yeah, it's a really, really nice book. Um, there's a cushion that she's made with the fabric that she's dyed. So yeah, it's a really nice book and I think I'm going to have a really good look through this. Um, I haven't had a proper look through this yet. It's terrible that, isn't it? There's the dyer's apron. I want to make that. I might have a go at making that. Cause it's got all. It's one of the books I want to show you is one of those decorative mending books. So that might be quite nice to do something like that on this. Put some nice decorative stitches on it. So yeah, that I, I highly recommend it. It's got a book price of sixteen ninety nine on it. Now I don't know how much it is at the moment online because things seem to have a habit of going up. She also talks about how to grow the plants from seed and yeah. So. I'm really looking forward to having a look through that. Oh look, she shows you some decorative stitches as well. So yeah, I highly recommend that if that's a thing that you are interested in having a look at. I know I talk about natural dyes a lot on my channel. And uh, excuse me, I've done a couple of videos if you go through my back catalogue um, of natural dyes. I've also just done some which I'm going to show is drying at the moment, what we did in the garage last week. I did uh, Rebecca and what, what was that one? Dyer's Weld, I think. I think it's Weld. So they're just drying at the moment. They've been by the log burner drying. So I'll show you them tomorrow. Or on Saturday's um, knitting podcast, I'll show you that on Saturday. So excuse me, I'm, not, I'm feeling a bit tired today. I didn't go to bed till five past 12, as I say. So I'm a bit tired. And my battery dying every five minutes doesn't help. So let me just check how much battery we've got. Oh, we've got one bar still. Right, I think I need to have a drink. So I've got my wheel all set up and uh, I've got some video footage for you that I'm going to put in about my wheel, the type of wheel that I've got and um, showing you me cleaning it and how to look after it. So I haven't got any oil, so I couldn't show you any oil in it. I'm going to have to buy some, but uh, I might have some in the shed down the bottom. I'll go and have a look. But I have done a video for you for Sunday of um, my wheels. The three I've got three wheels. I've got an Ashford Kiwi, an Ashford Joy and a Bliss. Um, and I think it's called Woolmakers. It's by Woolmakers and it's Dutch. Um, so I've done a little video for you of the three wheels that I've got. What you can get for those wheels. What you can spin on them. And uh, showing you a little look around them. So that's coming up on Sunday because one of my viewers mentioned that she was interested in buying a spinning wheel. So I thought this might help you out and anybody else out there who's looking for a wheel um, and what they're like, what you can get for them, and roughly how much they are. I think the wool maker one's gone up to about 350 now from what I've seen on the internet. But you can get a lot more for it than you could when I got mine. So um, the Ashford Joy I think are about 650 and the Ashford Kiwi I think is just under 400 now but it was only about 250 when I bought it so so yeah that's all we're doing today really is uh, spinning and I've got some shopping to do. I'm going to see about a tree for the front room. 
Um, I did cut one down in the garden the other day, but I'm not sure I want to put that up. I feel like I want to buy one. But we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. I'm going to put it up and see what it looks like. Um, it might be alright. It's not got many branches on it, you see. It's only got about three rows of branches up. But uh, once you've got the tinsel and the baubles on, you don't really notice, do you? So, anyway, I'm going to go and start spinning my yarn and show you me spinning it. I'm going to go and get on with my day. Um, I don't think I'm going to come back in today because I'm going out with my mum in a little bit and we're going shopping. And no, mum's not coming. That's right. I'm going on my own. Sorry. I Covid brain. Do you know, I just can't cope. I've got to go shopping in a bit. So I don't think I'll be popping back in today. But uh, as I say, I've got my spinning wheel bit to put in for you, for you to have a look at. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. So have a lovely day. Enjoy whatever it is you're making. Thank you for all the lovely comments that I've been getting in the uh, description bar below. If you do want to buy me a coffee, I do have a Kofi account. Um, I'll always be glad of a cup of coffee. And uh, yeah, check out my Kofi account. I am in the new year. I am going to start uploading things into the shop there periodically uh, for you to have a little look at. And uh, yeah, just that's it really. So I'm going to go and get on with my day. As I say, have a lovely day. Enjoy whatever craft it is you're making. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. So bye for now. Bye bye. As you can see our uh, Christmas yarn is working out well at the moment. Day one seems to be going quite well. Really pleased with the colours in day one. Uh, interested to see how day turn two turns out. So we'll do that tomorrow. So yeah I hope you enjoyed spinning along with me uh, for today and uh, I will see you tomorrow. So have a lovely evening and uh, bye for now. Bye bye.